Hello, my name is Kent Morris. I'm an electrophysiologist with Norton Heart Specialist here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today, we're going to talk about left atrial appendage occlusion. Patients with atrial fibrillation are roughly five times more likely to have a stroke. The atria, the top chambers of the heart, do not contract normally and instead fibrillate or quiver. This can lead to pooling and stagnant blood flow in one corner of the heart called the left atrial appendage, or the LAA. A blood clot could form in this area of the heart. If the blood clot breaks loose, it can then travel through the blood vessels to the brain, causing a stroke. In fact, 90% of the blood clots that form in AFib originate in the left atrial appendage. Blood thinners are often given to reduce the risk of stroke in AFib. However, they also increase the risk of bleeding and bruising. In addition, some patients just don't tolerate them very well. There is an alternative to blood thinners called left atrial appendage occlusion, or LAAO. This can be done surgically at the time of open heart surgery. However, now it can also be done with a catheter-based procedure. A left atrial appendage occlusion implant, such as a Watchman device, is a catheter-based procedure that is designed to permanently plug or seal off the LAA and thereby prevent formation of blood clots in this area of the heart. The implant is permanent and is compatible with MRI and any other form of x-ray. A left atrial appendage occlusion implant is done in the cath lab through a catheter inserted into the upper leg. This catheter travels up to the heart and into the left side of the heart. The device is implanted into the LAA. X-ray cameras and ultrasound are used to guide the implant procedure. It's usually done under general anesthesia and patients typically stay overnight in the hospital. Left atrial appendage occlusion has been shown to be roughly equivalent to being on a blood thinner in terms of preventing a stroke. Ask your physician if you're a candidate for LAA occlusion. Be sure to review your pre- and post-procedure instructions regarding what to do before and after the procedure. As always, if you have questions, please reach out to your doctor's office. Thank you for choosing Norton Heart and Vascular Institute.